guys, it's Kevin, it's me, another murder for you guys, and this is my reviewing, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a movie that I didn't actually know if I was gonna watch this year, uh, but I've had so many requests for this movie that I figured I might as well just finally get out of the way, I know it's been a long time coming, but that movie is Fist Fight. So what Fist Fights is essentially about is we focus on this one high school, and there is this teacher played by Charlie Day, and uh, without spoiling what ends up happening, basically, uh, through this one incident, he ends up actually getting Ice Cube's character fired. He also works there as a teacher, and, uh, you know, Charlie Day, you know, is basically, like I said, he ends up getting him fired. And basically, as consequence for that, Ice Cube actually challenges Charlie Day to a fist fight uh, immediately after school, and that's the basic plot overall. So, fistfights. Uh, when it comes to this movie, I really didn't know what to think. I thought, alright, this could be really fun, maybe this could actually be something I've really seen before. You know, I don't really see a lot of comedies about, like, the school system and things like that quite like this movie. Uh, but then there was a part of me that's like, this could also come across as really dumb and stupid, so I really didn't know what it was gonna be, if this was actually gonna be a fun movie, or if it was gonna be more of, um just like I said, a stupid film, but I have to say that Wall Fist Fight is definitely a dumb movie. I had a lot of fun with it. I really did. I overall really did enjoy this movie. It's not really meant to be taken seriously at all. Um, you know, it's not like this amazing thing or anything, but I honestly did have a good time with it. It's a nice, solid comedy, and uh, we're just getting into it right now, starting off with the cast. And that is definitely the thing I will give this movie. I think if it hadn't been for the cast, this movie would not be as good as it really is. Because honestly, I think everyone pretty much did a really good job. Charlie Day here as a character of Andy Campbell, he really did a good job here. I liked his character overall. He's really just a big softy. He's really good at his job. Uh, he really likes being an English teacher, but he's not really well respected. Why? Because he doesn't really know how to defend himself, and he's honestly kind of weak. And I thought he did do a good job with that character, and kind of seeing him go through this progression of learning how to toughen up, I thought was honestly a really good arc. I actually really did like what we got with him as a character. I thought overall, he definitely did do a really good job here, and he had me laughing quite frequently throughout the movie. He was definitely a lot of fun to watch, and uh, I think he definitely was really great here. And then just as good, in my opinion, is Ice Cube as Ron Strickland, who you put Ice Cube in anything, your movie's at least going to be somewhat entertaining, and he really did a great job here. I thought his character was honestly a lot of fun to watch. He is pretty much the exact opposite of uh, Day's character. He is a lot more, uh, you know, very short-tempered. He doesn't really know how to hold things in, and he's so pissed off at these students that he literally carries around an axe, which, again, I know is a little bit ridiculous, but that's just kind of um, the nature of this movie. But he was definitely a lot of fun to watch, and his interaction with Charlie Day, I thought these two honestly worked really well together. You could tell they were having a lot of fun, and that's something I think works very well I think because these actors were having a lot of fun, I think the audience really does follow suit. I thought they definitely did do a really good job. I thought their chemistry here was definitely a lot of fun to watch. And uh, overall, I definitely did enjoy watching their characters here. And then everyone else in the movie uh, I thought was pretty good. You know, Tracy Morgan I always really do enjoy. We'll get into his character in a little bit, but I thought he was fun in the movie. Uh, Dean Norris, oh my god, Dean Norris this movie was so fun to watch as this principal who you can tell just really hates his job, he just, he's always in a bad mood, he's always that principal that's yelling all the time, and there's this great recurring gag with a mariachi band, I don't want to say anything else, but it is easily one of the funniest gags I've seen in any comedy this year, I mean, he just had me pretty much dying of laughter in any scene he was in, uh, Kumal Nanjiani as, uh, the school security guard I thought also was really good, he's really having a great year, really branching out in uh, various different things, but I thought honestly everyone did a really good job, there really wasn't a bad performance um, in there, I didn't think anyone was necessarily bad in this movie, I think everyone pretty much did do a good job, except for Jillian Bell, which let's just get into Jillian Bell right now, uh, I don't dislike Jillian Bell by any means, in fact I actually really do love her in 22 Jump Street, if you guys know, 22 Jump Street's one of my favorite uh, sequels to a comedy of all time, not just of this century, of all time, I think it is a very well done uh, sequel, and I think she definitely was very fun in it, here, 
Uh, it's not so much that I thought she was bad necessarily, but her character is honestly insufferable, and she's very one-note, and I didn't really think that she was honestly that great. Uh, it didn't really seem like she had, like, a ton to work with, and we'll get more into that when we get into the script, but like I said, I thought the cast overall did a good job. I definitely did like, um... Pretty much, you know, for the most part, everyone in this movie, I think everyone really was uh, really great here. So now let's get into the directing and the writing, which the directing in this movie, I need you guys to know, you know, what you're going into. Because you need to go into this movie and know that this is not at all going to be a logical realistic type of movie. This movie goes completely against that. It is completely just to suspend your disbelief, you know, turn your brain off kind of film. And I know I always say, like, you know, I've, I've heard people say, like, oh, you shouldn't do that with movies like this. But honestly, for a movie like this, I think it works. I really do. I think the tone is completely outrageous. It's really uh, ridiculous, but I think it really does work for this movie. It's just trying to be something fun and stupid, and for the most part, it works very well. And honestly, the comedy did work for the most part for me. I was laughing a lot during this movie. There were definitely some jokes that didn't hit, but I was laughing frequently here, and I did think the directing was very well done. Um, the writing really is my main flaw with this movie, because as I said, Ice Cube and Charlie Day I thought were really good. I also really liked Dean Norris. The other characters, on the other hand... Yeah, not really doing it for me. Uh, let me explain. Tracy Morgan, for example, I love the dude. I think he's a great actor. I think he's a lot of fun to watch. But his character, I thought, was very, very one-note. You know, he's constantly talking about, um, you know, getting with different kinds of girls. And I just didn't really find him particularly funny. Like, Tracy Morgan, you know, he's fun to watch. But I didn't really feel like they gave him really anything that funny to say, unfortunately. Except for a couple jokes here and there. I just really was not that into him. Uh, but Jillian Bell, like I said, that really is the biggest problem here. Her character is so one-note. She's just the guidance counselor that's trying to have sex with her students. I'm not even joking. That's her whole plot line. She spends most of the movie just you know, trying to get with this one guy who is no longer going to be a senior because he's graduating, and I, I just thought it was really dumb. I really thought it was dumb. If they maybe did the joke, like, one or two times, I think it would have been fine, but literally every single joke with her throughout this movie is her just trying to get with this one guy. Uh, she's trying to get with Ethan from Teen Wolf, and it just failed miserably. I was really not a fan of her jokes. I thought that it really did not work for me. Same with Christina Hendricks. I, I really do usually like Christina Hendricks, but her character was just way too over the top, and I don't really think it worked out that well at all, I have to say. And that's really my main problem with this movie, is that while this movie is ridiculous... There's a certain limit you can go, and in the second half of this movie, it does take this turn, and I thought it got a bit off the rails, honestly, especially this subplot involving what Campbell tries to do to prevent himself from having this fist fight. I just thought, like, you know, the movie can be silly, but I'm like, all right, there, there's a certain limit you need to go, and not only was it, I thought, unnecessary, but honestly, I just felt it kind of make us, it made the character look very shallow, and I just didn't really love the direction it went in. However, in that same uh, part, they actually do give you a good reason as to why Ice Cube wants this fist fight so bad, what the whole purpose of it is, and I thought it honestly did make a lot of sense when thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, that, that really does make sense sense why he won this fist fight because at first I'm like this doesn't really make a ton of sense to me however after he gave the justification I'm like okay that now makes sense and I thought they honestly handled that really well and the movie honestly does have a lot to say about the school system and how corrupted it really is and also how bad of a system it really is and how so many teachers are picked on and there's so many things that the principals don't really do and I thought that was definitely a good issue that yes it is a comedy but I did think the movie handled it quite well I was definitely impressed with the way that went down uh, I also really like the subplot involving Charlie Day and his daughter uh, he's trying to help her at her talent show and I thought that honestly was also a really good arc and then the fist fight in the movie once it does go down it's it's honestly awesome I mean I know I said that 
I thought the movie got a little bit too over the top in the second act. Not the case with the fist fight. The fist fight was as perfect as it really could be. They really just went all out. And that's what I love about this fight. They didn't pull any punches. They went all out. And I was definitely very happy about that. And it was definitely a lot of fun to watch. You know, seeing these two kick each other's asses. It's a lot of fun. It really is. And I think they definitely did do a good job with that. The cinematography here as well, I thought was okay. You know, not really too much to say there. But I thought it was okay. The score was good. And then the editing of this movie, I thought was fine. I thought the movie was the perfect length. I didn't think it needed to be any longer or shorter than it was, and for me, it really did work. Honestly, guys, I really did enjoy this movie. I don't really have too many complaints when it comes to this fight, honestly, like I said, it's really only that second act, that one sort of twist in that second act that does um, kind of deter this movie for me. Other than that, guys, I think this is pretty much a very solid comedy. I was very happy with the way this movie did turn out. It has some side characters that maybe they could have lessened a little bit, and I do think bring the movie down um, just a little bit from, you know, what it really could be. Jillian Bell especially can get very annoying at times. And then the only other thing uh, I can really think about when it comes to flaws of this movie is, one, I did find the movie to be just a little bit predictable, like the way things did play out, like, yeah, it's pretty predictable the way it's gonna go, but it didn't necessarily bother me, it's just, it's not necessarily like the most unpredictable movie or anything like that. Uh, and some of the jokes, not all of them really do land. Like I said, a lot of Jillian Bell's jokes really do uh, fall flat. But other than that, guys, I really don't have too many complaints with this movie, and I am overall going to give Fist Fight a very enthusiastic B. So over, guys, we're going to Fist Fight. Let me know what you guys thought of this movie overall. Left your thoughts in it. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.